DaVinci Resolve 18.5. You asked for it. Black Magic Design made it happen. What am I talking about? That's right, auto captions here in DaVinci Resolve 18.5. The comment I've gotten tons of times is I'm coming from Adobe Premiere and I want to do auto captions. Why can't DaVinci Resolve just make the captions for me? Well, now we have it, Black Magic Design. Put it in here in version 18.5. It is awesome. It does a fantastic job of taking your speech, turning it into text, creating the subtitle track for you, and putting it on top of your video. We're gonna be taking a look at it today. I'm gonna to show you how it works. It's quick, it's easy. You've got a few different ways that you can use it. And it is so good that it'll also add in things like question marks, punctuation. It'll capitalize things that should be capitalized. It'll put quotes around things that need quotes. It can detect multiple people in a scene. It can put all of their speech into the subtitles. It'll even detect music in the background for you and give you those little brackets that say music playing. But I'm really impressed at how well it does work. It takes a lot of those extra steps that we might need to do, you know, sometimes to go back through and make sure we've got all that punctuation and capitals and all that stuff. It's gonna take care of a lot of that for you. I'm not sure that Blackmagic Design could have made it any easier to use this tool. So let's jump into Resolve. I'll show you how it works. And then you're gonna be off and running, getting Resolve to create your subtitles for you. Quick, easy, no problem. Let's jump into Resolve. Let's go. Jumping into DaVinci Resolve here, I've got my project open, and this is a project I created for the 18.5 Fairlight update. So if you want to know all the new audio updates, you want to check out that video, I'll link to it above over here. But let's create these auto captions for this project. Now you've got two ways that you can create these auto captions. And by the way, I should mention really quickly that they're only available in English right now, but I can pretty much guarantee... I don't know for a fact, but I can pretty much guarantee that they're going to be adding in more languages as we move forward here uh, with updated versions of Resolve. But right now it's only in English, so keep that in mind. But you can either do it for the entire timeline or you can set in points and out points and do it just for that section of your video. So it depends on how you might want to do it. Maybe you're making some Mr. Beast text right in your video. Those quick little words that pop on the screen kind of like this. Well, we can set in points and out points and just do a small section of it if we'd like. So here's how you do it. Let's say I want to create some in points and out points because I only want to do the intro of this video. So I'm going to come in my timeline and I'm press I, come to say right about there. I'm going to press O to set an out point. Now to create the auto captions, I'm just going to come up to the timeline menu. Come on down to create subtitles from audio. Go ahead and click on that. Now, once you click on that, it's going to bring up this little menu here. Language, like I said, we can only do English at this point, but I can pretty much guarantee they're going to add more. I don't know that for a fact, just a hunch. The next section here we have is caption preset. So if you click on that, you've got two different presets in here. You could probably set up your own preset as well and then have it show up in here. Not 100% on that. I got to double check that. But uh, you got two presets there that you can choose. I'm just going to go with the default for now. And then you have max characters per line right here. Now that means how long do you want your line to be on the bottom of the screen down here? Do you want it short? Do you want it long? You got to decide what you want it to be. For example, if I pick uh, Netflix, it's going to change it to 42. Teletext changes to 37 and the default is 42, it looks like. So I'm just going to leave it at the default right now. And it's as easy as just hit create. Resolve is going to pop up this little create subtitles menu. It's going to initialize, do its thing, and then it's going to run through, create the subtitles for you. And then it's also going to create a subtitle track and it's going to put them all in there for you. Check it out. So elapsed time to do that little section there that we see on the screen was maybe... I don't know, a couple seconds, five seconds, I don't know, something like that. And now if we come here, let's play through the video and see how it did. We're going to take a look at the new features and tools that they added into Fairlight here. Just going to run over some of them. We'll now that looks like it's working pretty good to me. I see capitalization. I see punctuation. There's commas in there. It did a really good job and I didn't have to do any work. Now, if you wanted to shorten down those words a little bit, because right now it's like sentences, right? You wanted Mr. Beast text. Let's say I just undo that by hitting command or control Z. And then I'm going to do it again, timeline, create subtitles from audio. But this time I'm going to change the max characters per line to, I don't know, maybe 10. I'm going to hit create and let's see what it does. Again, just a few seconds there. You can see all these clips that it added in. And uh, here's what we got. Check it out. Guys, what is happening? We are here for the DaVinci Resolve 18.5 Fairlight update as your audio guy here in DaVinci Resolve. Now, if you did want to make the text look a little bit different, you wanted to customize it, you decided, hey, I don't like the way it looks. I want it to look different. Real easy to change that. Just select on your subtitle clip. Make sure your inspector's open right here. And you're going to see your caption come up right here. Now, we can adjust the text if we need to. Um, but if you want to customize it the way it looks, just this one particular clip, we can click on this guy right here, customize caption. You can change all of these items right here. Or if you want to globally change all of them, so you only had to do it once, you know that you want them all to look the same, right? I'm going to uncheck Customize Caption, and I'm going to come to Track right here. 
Now this is where I can go through, change the font if I want. So let's uh, pick Mr. Beast font here, which is this guy. Let's say I wanna make him bigger because I don't have a lot of words on the screen. You can change the spacing or the kerning. You've got all those options of changing things. You can add a drop shadow if you want there. Whoop, there we go, a little drop shadow. Make your changes and that's gonna apply to every single clip in your subtitle track. So if I play through it here, we're just gonna mute it here, but you see if I play through it, now all of my fonts, the shadows, all that, it's all the same here and you can see it popping on the screen. So that's how you can create some quick Mr. Beast text just in case you wanted to do that. Now here's a little bonus tip for you. If you have multiple tracks with multiple people speaking, you may wanna mute one of the tracks if you're just trying to get you know, one particular set of subtitles in there. Um, you know, and, and it's kind of, you know, getting confused between the two voices. You can always mute one, run the subtitle track, see how it works out. Um, or you can try leaving them both on. And as long as the, the voices don't overlap too much, it should do an okay job of uh, getting that speech into text and into a subtitle. Now, a really another cool feature that's kind of part of this create auto captions is to transcribe your video. So if you wanted to transcribe it, you can actually just come right up here to your media pool, right? Make sure that's open. And right here at the top, there's this little icon that says transcribe audio. So if you go ahead and click on that guy, DaVinci Resolve is gonna transcribe the audio for your entire video and give it to you in like paragraph form. Check it out. So it is taking a little while to transcribe this project. Looks like it says it'll take about four minutes or so but it is a half hour long uh, project here, half hour long video. So four minutes to transcribe an entire half hour long video, not too bad, at least I don't think it's too bad. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like in a second when it's done, actually in four minutes when it's done, like that for you guys, ready? And we're back with the finished transcription. Check it out, this window pops up here, says transcription, and it has the entire 30 minute long video, plus some outtakes in there, scripted out here. Everything is in there. And if I click on a word, for example, automation, it should jump me right to that spot in my time. You can see right down here, it's showing me where it is in my video, right? Pretty wild that it can do that. If I scroll down even more, boom, you can see it's jumping ahead here. Pretty wild how it does that. Now there are some other cool features in here. It looks like we can come here and we can create a sub clip by maybe selecting some text here, create a sub clip out of that. It's gonna set in and out points for us. If I make this a little bigger so we can see it on our timeline here, automatically sets in and out points. If you wanna grab the text or grab a certain you know, part of the video, create a sub clip. You can add markers. You can play through this here if you wanted to, play to the in and out points, just play it uh, straight through. You can insert things, append things. Pretty wild that it can do all this in like four minutes, right? You wanna adjust the size of it, it needs to be a little bigger, you know? I just had to get reading glasses, so if I need to make it a little bit bigger, you could do that right there, change your high contrast right here. You could export the entire thing right here. So there you have it, guys, the auto captions here, as well as the transcription in DaVinci Resolve 18.5. Awesome, Blackmagic, thank you so much for throwing that in there. A lot of people have been asking for that. Really appreciate this awesome feature there in DaVinci Resolve 18.5. Guys, there's tons more to get to. I gotta get back to the drawing boards here, checking notes, making more videos about all of these awesome updates for you guys. With that said, you guys have a great day and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace. All right, that's it, that's it. Shut her down. Let's go edit. <laughs>